Uh, Mom was very um, uh, patriotic, and she, they were very serious about about doing all that they could. Joe Blankenship wasn't born just quite yet when this picture was taken in 1942. America was at war, and his mom, Naomi Parker Fraley, went to work at a naval shipyard in California. Had a fiery temper. She didn't take guff off anybody. This picture ran in a newspaper story at the time. It would turn out, though, to be the inspiration behind what's arguably one of the most iconic American images of all time. Rosie the Riveter. Anybody would want a mother like mine. Fraley lived under the radar for years after the war. It wasn't until the last few years that a college professor in New Jersey was researching Rosie the Riveter and discovered that this picture of Fraley was in fact the inspiration. Blankenship, who lives in Kelso, always knew her as mom. She believed in we were all equal. Today, Fraley's legacy lives on across the U.S and in classrooms in Portland. Oh, they're future Rosies. At Oregon Tradeswomen, instructors here are providing training to women for construction jobs, groundwork Fraley and others laid decades ago. But I would say to her, I would say to Naomi and the other Rosies, thank you. Thank you for the work you did. Thank you for being courageous. If Fraley were still alive, she'd likely say no thanks needed. She never sought fame or fortune for being the original Rosie. It wasn't about her. It was about thousands of women uh, in, in the war effort and thereafter. Uh, it's, and uh, yeah, she, she just, she was a humanist. She liked people and she just believed we, we should all just get along. And the family says they are planning a public service for Fraley. That will be on March 10th. They're not sure where it'll be though yet because they're not sure how many people will show up. And again, they do want the public to come. Back to you.